everybody, welcome to Stellar Mommies, our second edition. It is cold and flu season and kids live in a petri dish at school and bring everything home and everybody's been sick through this holiday season. So we wanna give you some simple tips and easy things you can do at home that don't require medication that will help your kiddos and you. Yes, so um, when a patient comes in and says, I'm sick or I feel like I'm getting sick, what can I do to help my kiddos? The number one thing I have people do is the wet sock treatment. Um, some people call it the warming sock treatment. Uh, that's just to make it sound nicer than it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the same treatment. Um, you can Google it. Um, I'll give you the same information, but I'm just going to chat about why we do it, when we do it, how often we do it, and we're going to do a little demo on Amy. Um, so wet socks. So basically we'll show it all to you, but you're taking wet socks, like actual cotton sockies, and getting them wet in cold water, wringing them out, putting them on your feet, and then covering it with thicker, um, like wool socks or just thicker socks on top and going to bed that way. Um, what it does is it draws circulation um, down to your feet. Um, so your immune system is I don't know if you've all heard of the lymphatic system. That is basically your lymphat your uh, immune system superhighway, just like your circulatory system, um, but it's on the very surface of your skin. So um, when you're sick, your immune system, your lymphatic system might be like chugging along at a snail's pace, going 10 miles an hour, cleaning up the garbage, right? So that's slow healing response. So you put these wet socks on your feet, it makes a super highway, you're going 90 miles an hour, right? Your lymphatic system's moving, cleaning up white blood cells, uh, doing their job, getting rid of bacteria, virus, whatever's going on. Um, the other thing is that it creates a positive pressure to like pull congestion out of your sinuses and your chest. So if your kid is coughing all night long, mm -hmm. no, you had a sick kid recently, right? Mm -hmm. So that cough that is like, keeping them up all night long so they can't and even you rest. Subsequently. <laughs> yeah, right. Then you get sick from it. Um, but coughing all night long. Mm -hmm. um, if you put wet socks on, they literally don't cough all night. Um, it's crazy. My kids usually wake up at like three in the morning, not wake up, start coughing again at three in the morning and it's because their socks are dry. So I go wet them again, put them back on their feet and then they can sleep the rest of they're allowed sleep time. <laughs> <laughs> and like from a personal experience, if I can just share that, the first time that I, well actually I had had another naturopath tell me about it and I really was like, that's lunacy. I'm not doing that. Sounds Which horrible. is what most people Sounds think horrible. I suggested yeah. too. But then Della suggested again and I was like, okay, fine. I'll give it a try. And the kids don't love it. I mean, it's cold. And we always, when we put cold socks on, especially with Toby, we're like, Hawaii, Miami, like think of warm places. And by the time we get the, the dry socks on, he's fine and moved on. But it was magic. It was like we'd been up all night for days with him coughing. And then these wet socks, he just quit coughing. It helps to break his fever. Like, every, yeah. it really helped so many things. And it was the first time it worked, we were kind of like, mm, was that a fluke? Yeah. yeah, but it's worked every time. Tristan even does it on his own without us asking now. Yeah, so <laughs> my daughter, Isley, she literally is like, Mom, I don't feel good. I think I need wet socks tonight. Like, mm -hmm. she loves it. And we'd make them really cold and put them on her feet. And she's like, oh, my God, oh, it's so cold, it's so cold. And, like, till we get the socks on top. And she loves it. And so you can make a game out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if you think it's horrible and you're, like, pushing that energy on your kids, they're going to think it's horrible. But my kids don't think it's horrible. They actually like to do it. And so I think it's one of those things where – um, it makes them maybe feel special, like they need something really special for mm -hmm. their system to work right, um, or it's like their special medicine or something. Um, I think essential oils can also help um, in different ways when we apply them to the bottom of the feet. Um, I'm a huge essential oil person. I'm still learning right now about essential oils, but um, Vicks Vapor Rug, <laughs> that's what we use on the bottom of the feet too. So if they're super non-compliant with the wet socks, which um, my son Weston, who's seven, is starting to get a little snarky about it, um, and just like, I don't want to fight with you, a thick slather of Vicks on the bottom of his feet, socks on the top, can do a similar type of thing to the body help with the cough, uh, draw your circulation down, and run your immune system. But Wet socks, hydrotherapy, nothing like it. It's awesome. It is. Um, before we do the wet sock demo, 
One other, so it's called hydrotherapy because it's therapy with water, right? Another thing, if you are feeling sick, this sounds horrible, but this is actually awesome. Um, I don't even know if I've told you about this. In the shower, um, you just make it as hot as you can stand it on your back. Um, I do my back because your lungs can get affected on, through your back also. Um, but um, just get really hot in the shower and then you just turn it to cold. And so it doesn't have to be freezing uber cold. It can just be like colder so that you can feel actually your blood leaving, um, going into your core. So when you have cold water going on, your, your blood is going to go internal. And then you have hot water, your blood's going external. So it's that same thing, moving blood, moving your lymph. Um, so in the shower, I just go hot, cold, hot, cold, depending on how brave I am, just the colder you go. But as long as you can feel the heat like moving, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be beneficial. Um, and you always want to end on cold. People think like, oh, I'm going to be so cold the rest of the day. Well, when you pump your blood internally, because you just ended on cold water, you're actually warmer once you get out of the shower. So it's awesome mm -hmm. trick. Um, hydrotherapy. So, so can I ask you a question? Is there yeah. any detriment to doing it when it's not needed? No, it's running your immune, your moving your immune system, moving circulation. No detriment to that at all. Cool. Yeah. You can do it every single night if you want. I think, um, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. I think it might be more effective. Like if you utilize it when you're like sick. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, we feel if there's a cold coming on, we use it like, we try to get ahead of it to mm -hmm. knock the cold or flu out before it even sets in. Then it will work even better. But sometimes we don't think about it until they're really and you sick. Do this, you do this in place of like Triaminic or Advil or things like that. Yeah. So I never use Advil, mm -hmm. rarely, because my belief is that a fever has a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, so if our kids get over 103, 104, and they actually feel miserable, where they like, they just really feel miserable, well, give them some relief with some ibuprofen or something, but um, we really try not to because a fever is going to burn out that bug that's making them sick. It has a purpose. And so if you're stopping that immune response, like when they have 101 fever, like the point of a fever is to kill that bug. So you just stopped your body from being able to do that. And usually they're, they're prolonging the virus then. Definitely prolonging the virus. Mm -hmm. Anytime you give like, as an adult, like, you take DayQuil to get through your day or whatever. I get, like, you have to go to work and you're sick. Like, you have to function. But you're prolonging your illness because you're stopping your body's own mechanisms from kicking it out. Yeah. So if you have the ability to just be sick and let yourself be sick, mm -hmm. that's awesome. You're letting your body do its job. You're kicking it out. And um, what's cool is your body creates antibodies. So the next time your body sees this virus or bacteria, you've got these um, memory cells that are gonna be able to take care of it right away. Very cool. One of the reasons I don't tell people to get the flu shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of patients that come in telling me they got the flu shot and they're so proud of themselves. Like they think they're gonna get a gold star from me and I usually <laughs> just smile and move on. Um, but the flu shot is 20% effective this year. Is that what have you heard? I haven't heard. 20% effective this year. I just know a lot of people got sick. Yeah, so not effective at all, really. Um, so they put this mess with their immune system for no reason, in my opinion. Um, if you're healthy, you don't have, like, if you get the flu, you're not going to send yourself to the hospital because you've got asthma. You're not immune compromised. Um, it sucks to be sick. It sucks to take a week off work or a week off school, no doubt. But if you can allow yourself to be sick, that is amazing. Your immune system just created these antibodies so that when you're 90 years old and you're frail, like it can be like, oh, I've seen that before. Handled, no problem. And you're not gonna die. Right. So isn't that awesome? It is. <laughs> be sick, right? Don't Our die. Bodies have a purpose. Yeah. With everything in there for sure. Right. So that's my spiel on immune system. Yeah. Let's do some wet socks. Okay. Right. So Tootsies. Tootsies. They're already really cold. Okay, so um, with, so the, if you look at the, um, <laughs> if you Google it, it's going to tell you to get your feet really warm before you do it. That's definitely going to help it be more effective. Um, but I never do that with my kids because that's even more miserable. And to be honest, just the wet socks themselves are awesome just by themselves. So, um, you could, we could put her feet in a warm foot bath and let them get really, really warm before we apply the cold socks. But, um, with my kids, and because I'm lazy, I actually skip that step myself. So 
Uh, we're just going to go to it. Cold water. Socks. You want me to yell and cry or anything? You can rub it. Feel it. Feel it. Tell them how it feels. All right, I will. So get them nice and wet. Make sure they're soaked all the way through. Okay. These socks soaked all the way through. Wring them out, like, not super hard. You want them to be wet. So um, we don't, like, wring them out so there's no water in there. Um, but I usually go in the bathroom. I get the wet socks. My kids are already in their bed. So I put on the sockies. Well, that's not terrible. It's not terrible when you're feeding. I'm kind of embarrassed I've never done this. I do it to my kids frequently, but I've actually, <laughs> even at the request of my doctor, not done it very good. I'll be a better patient. That's not bad. It's really not bad, yeah. right? No. It sounds horrible, but it's not bad. And then when you put, uh, just what, if you've got wool socks, awesome. But if you just have a thicker pair of athletic socks even, that's fine. And then you just throw them on top. Because they're harder to get on. Big I guess I could help you, couldn't I? <laughs> I mean, you are an adult, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only my age. And so when you put the wool sock on, what does it feel like? Like, does it feel... It almost instantly feels a little bit warmer. It just feels wet. Like, it doesn't... I don't feel... It doesn't feel super cold. Maybe around my ankles a little bit. But otherwise, it just feels so a little we, bit wet. So we tuck you in, Aww. give you a kiss goodnight. And then, literally, when the blanket's on here... They don't feel hardly anything. It sucks sometimes if you're not used to wearing socks to bed, but um, if your feet feel a little bit cold, it actually, if you're somebody who has cold feet anyways, and you're like, that sounds horrible because my feet are cold, um, it draws your circulation. Two, three in the morning, I guarantee you, your feet are going to be on fire. They're going to be hot. And the socks are going to be dry, and you're going to kick them off, and it's fine. Um, and it's super easy. And that is like immune system super stimulating awesomeness yeah. so this is the jam do it with your kids make it a game or something fun and even do it with yourself and then you can stay healthy thanks for joining us oh one other plug i want to give amy also makes some awesome elderberry syrup um elderberry syrup is awesome for your immune system in so many ways so just taking it daily if you yeah. want to talk about it for a second yeah can i get one yes <laughs> mom can i be done <laughs> um so Elderberry, the elderberry syrup that I make is, um, we make it with organic elderberries that have been um, dehydrated. So we rehydrate them and then cook them and add cinnamon, cloves, and uh, ginger to it. And then we stabilize it and sweeten it with raw honey. So um, the recommended daily dosage for elderberry is a tablespoon uh, daily for any age above the age of one because it has honey in it. Um, but if you, when you get sick, you would take a teaspoon um, every four hours. So truthfully, like we just put it in a shot glass and drink it every day. Uh, and it really does help. I have a child who's severely immunocompromised and he gets sick way less often when he will take this regularly. And um, we don't always take it every day, but when the kids do get sick and take it, we definitely see it shorten the duration and the severity of the cold. So, so Amy makes an elderberry syrup that she sells from her home. Um, at Stellar Health and Wellness, we also sell an immune pep that is mostly mm -hmm. elderberry based. Um, that same thing, taken daily, it can totally help support your immune system, decrease the likelihood that you're going to get sick, yeah. and shorten the duration of your illness. So it tastes uh, good. It tastes yummy. Yeah. It's so yummy. Yeah. So, so that easy ways to keep yourself healthy without having to take medication. And I think that's an awesome way to just continue on your journey to health. Yeah. And then I think one more thing that I want to mention before we're done is sugar. Um, mm. We'll probably talk about sugar a ton um, in the future, but yeah. sugar slows down your immune system. So when you are sick, when your kids are sick, just stop giving them sugar and they're going to get better so much faster. We have a rule. It also helps to, your kids want to stay home sick or whatever. Awesome. You're sick. You don't get any sugar. You're sick. So they're not going to be faking that illness because they get no treats when right. they're sick. Um, your immune system literally is like, oh, yeah. cannot work when you're, when you've got sugar on board. So Cutting out the sugar is going to help speed things up a lot better, too. Something that is always a good visual for me, and I know not a lot of people can have this visual, but, like, if you've ever made kombucha, it has a scoby in it. And Wait a minute. A, How many people have ever made kombucha? All the flipping time. <laughs> You're my people if you make kombucha. All right. It's a little labor-intensive, but go ahead. It's not. <laughs> so if you've ever made kombucha or seen kombucha made or seen whatever, it has a scoby in it, and it's a big... Um, it's not. It kind of looks like a placenta, <laughs> but but. <laughs> Who's ever seen a placenta? I have. 
given birth. All right, so <laughs> it's got this scoby in it. And um, the way that the scoby grows is when you add sugar to the tea, the bacteria in there feeds on the sugar and it draws it up out of the tea so it's not sugar full, but it helps the bacteria or the scoby to grow. So the same thing, like when you're sick and you feed your body sugar, your body just uses it to feed that virus right. or that bacteria and makes mm-hmm. you even more sick. Yep. And you I always explain like that super highway of your immune system, mm-hmm. your lymphatic system. Sugar is like making it like go super slow. So the wet socks are speeding it up and sugar is going to make it even go slower. So I totally just forgot I had wet socks on. I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Just do it. All right. Again. Until next time. Bye guys. Thanks for tuning in.